Hi, my name is Philip King and welcome to this tutorial on how to assign a new drive letter to a drive using Windows XP. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to change the drive letter on drive F to drive Q. This technique can be used on your computer's hard disks, CD and DVD drives and other removable media devices. All 26 letters of the alphabet are available for use, though you should still reserve drive letters A and B for floppy drives, even if you don't have any. A word of warning at this point, many MS-DOS based and Microsoft Windows based programs refer to specific drive letters for environmental or other variables, in particular drive C. If you modify drive C's drive letter, some programs, including your Windows setup, may not function correctly. Take my advice, do not change drive C's drive letter. Let's begin. Click Start. Click Settings and then Control Panel. When the Control Panel window opens, click on Administrative Tools. If you have the Performance and Maintenance item, click on it and then click on Administrative Tools. When the Administrative Tools window opens, double click on the Computer Management item. When the Computer Management window opens, open the Storage item in the left plane and then select the Disk Management item. This will display a list of available drives. Select the drive whose letter you want to reassign, in my case it's CD-ROM drive F, and right click to display the pop-up menu. Select Change Drive Letter and Paths from the menu. Select the required item, and then click the Change button. Select the new drive letter from the drop-down list, I require letter Q, and click the OK button. Click the Yes button to confirm you want to change the drive letter and then click the Yes button to confirm you want to continue. Close all the windows. We now need to refresh the My Computer window to see the changes so click the Edit Menu tab and click Refresh. And the drive letter has been reassigned from the letter F to the letter Q. The great thing about using this method is that if you remove the drive, a memory stick for example, Windows will automatically assign the same letter to that drive when it is reconnected. If you would prefer a high res version of this video, one can be downloaded from my website where you will find a PDF guide. I hope you enjoyed this session. Don't forget to let me have your thoughts on this video. See you soon.